Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about layout managers. Uh, this video is just going to be an introduction to give you a definition of what a layout manager is and uh, its use and its importance. Why is it important to know about layout managers in Java GUI? I will also tell you what you can do, what line of code you have to write in order to set your layout manager on a frame or on a, on a particular container. All right. So that was it. I will simply remove these lines of code. So that's it. Before you understand what, what a layout manager is, actually, you have to understand what a frame is. You have to be able to create a frame okay so this is some line of code that i have used to create my frame i'm going to put a link in the description so that you can watch a video on how to create a frame i have declared um, an object of type jframe i could also use the inheritance mechanism okay by having a my frame class here that would extend a jframe and then in the constructor i would define all the properties and the uh, types and in the main class i would actually create a um, an object of type my frame okay so you can watch the videos in the description to get all the explanations so when i run i'm gonna get a frame okay so this frame is having a title bar and then content space this space below the title bar is called the content pane so it's used to actually hold the various GUI components that we want to add on our particular frame so it's kind of important to actually know that so the layout manager is actually defined for this part of our frame. So what is a layout manager? A layout manager is an object that implements the layout manager interface and determines the size and position of the components within a particular container. For example, our frame here is the container. With the layout manager, what we're gonna do is that we're going to define the size of the various components that we wanna add on that particular frame. We would also define the alignment of these components that we would add on a frame. And also, we would also define the position of this particular uh, object, okay, components on that particular frame. So although each component, for example, the label, the button, or you know, the panels can provide their own size, their own alignment, you can manipulate and control them using uh, methods, but a container's layout has the final say on the size and the position and the alignment of these components within that container. Okay, so Java string library provides us with at least eight layout managers uh, that you need to know. So that was it on uh, some theoretical, you know, information about layout manager. So how do you set a layout manager to a frame, for example? The line of code that you need to write is to say here, frame that set layout and then in the brackets you write new the name of the layout that you want to set so let's say that you want to say uh, grid layout for example so that means that for your particular frame here frame object it's going to have a grid layout set to it now if you run you won't see uh, any difference because we have not added any component on that yet. So let's say, for example, we will add a label. Let's say label, label, new J label, and call it label one. Okay, we will copy. So we have label two here. This will be label two, label three, and then label four, label four. Okay, so after we have uh, declared this label and we have instantiated them, we can add them to our frame. So we'll say from that add label and then semicolon. I will simply copy this line of code, paste it, so that I will add the other labels. I'll say label two, label three, label four. Now when I run, you can see the labels showing on the frame. So they are showing like this because we are using the grid layout because we set the layout of the frame of the frame to grid. Okay, so this is gonna be the same thing if we we added a button, for example. So let me remove this and say that we wanna add buttons. So I'll say btn uj button that will be button one, and I will copy paste it btn two 
button two, BTN three, button three, BTN four, button four. And all I have to do is to add the button to the frame. So frame that add BTN semicolon, I'll copy and paste. So here I'll say BTN two, BTN three, BTN four. Now, if I come, you will see that I have my button on the frame. Okay, so this is, what, as I said, because we said that the layout manager of our frame must be grid layout, that's what we define here. So what if we didn't define any layout manager? What will happen? Now, if I run, you will see that only button four is visible. Why? Because the other three buttons, button one, button two, and button three, are being overlapped by button four. And one thing we need to note here is that by default, if you don't set a layout manager for your frame, it's going to use a default layout manager. And a default layout manager for your frame is going to be a border layout. So here we didn't say a, set up a layout manager, so it's using a border layout. In the next videos, I'm gonna talk about border layout in details. So this is by default. For example, if I say, you know, I wanna change to another layout. So I'll say set layout, new. Uh, which layout can I use? I'll say flow layout like this. Uh, let me import now when i run you can see that the button is showing differently okay because we are using a different layout manager so like i was saying a layout manager is used to determine the positioning the size the alignment of your components flow layout manager is displaying the components with different sizes different alignments meanwhile if we say grid layout here we have a different uh, alignment and different size of the case so that's what I wanted to show you. So that's really important. Layout manager is really important when you want to place your GUI components on your frame or on a... So we can also decide to place our components manually. So by saying that, okay, we don't want to use any uh, Java layout manager. We want to place our components by ourselves. How should we do that? So we will say frame that set layout null okay so if you do set layout null that means that we don't want any layout manager even the default one we want to place our components ourselves so if you do that and then you declare the gui components okay in our case here we are having buttons and add them to your frame then when you run nothing will actually show on the screen so you can see the frame is empty why is it empty because you need to actually place your GUI components manually by yourself. You need to determine its uh, the, the position and you also need to determine the size or you can also determine the, the alignment on the frame. So that's what we are going to do here. So let's say, for example, we want to place the first component, which is the button, okay, BTN. We want to set its positioning and its width. So we are going to use the method called set bound. So set bound, and inside the brackets here, we are going to, first of all, give two parameters that are going to determine positioning of this particular button. So we will say zero, zero. And then the two other parameters are going to be for determining the width and the height of that particular button. So that would be 150. So the first 100 is the referring to the width and 50 is referring to the height. So we have determined the position and the size uh, and the, the dimensions of this particular button. So now when I run, we will have our button showing, as you can see here. So the button is showing. We can do the same thing for button two. As you could see, button two was not showing because we didn't specify its position and then its dimension. So we can say uh, BTN2 set bound. Now here, we will say that we want to place it. Coordinate X will be 200 pixels. Y will still be zero. And we will give it the same dimensions, 100. So this is button two is actually going to be placed next to the, the first button. Now when we run, you will see we are having button two here and button, button one here and then button, but button three and button four are not showing. Okay, so we will do the same thing for button three. We will set bounds. And we will say that um, X would be 200 and Y would also be 200. The width would be 100 and height of that particular button would be 50 pixels. And you run, 
now you see where your button three is actually showing okay let's do the same thing for button four set bounds so that would be 200 coordinate y will be 400 and then i would say the same dimensions with 400 and height 50 pixels now when you run yeah you can see where your button is actually shown so i can actually change coordinate x say 400 here and when you run that's where it's shown i will keep coordinate y to 200 and see how it is showing now so we have in button one button two button three button four so that's it if you set your layout manager to null you would definitely have to define the size and the position of your component manually but if you use a layout manager that layout manager is going to be responsible for actually placing your component on the frame and determining the size because the layout manager has the final say all right so the layout manager can be applied on a frame as we have seen in this particular example but it can also be applied on a panel because a panel is also used as a container because it can hold components so to show you what i mean by that we are going to create a panel so j panel we call this panel the new j panel and uh, okay we can set the size of this particular panel set size we can say that it is 400 400 uh, 300 like this now we need to add this particular panel to the frame so we come down here we'll say frame that add panel to the frame now let us set background color of this particular panel say set background color that blue this is when you run okay now you can see the panel showing on the screen so i will remove this buttons i'm not adding the buttons to the frame anymore okay now the panel is showing on the screen so let's say that we want to add our particular buttons on the panel how do we do that so if you want to add anything to the panel what you have to do is to write the name of the panel and then add and then in here you write the name of the components you want to add so that's it panel that add btn2 panel that add btn3 panel that add btn4 so that's it so now when we run our program you will see that we are adding our button to panel so now taking a look at this the buttons are being added to the panel but it's not taking into account the bounds that we set here for our buttons why because the panel uses its own layout manager so within the panel itself it has a default layout manager and the default layout manager for the panel is flow layout manager okay so what if we want to change the layout manager for the panel for example what can we do it's the same thing as we did for the frame so we will simply write the name of the panel here and then say set layout new the name of the new layout manager you want to set to the panel so we will say grid layout for example and now when we run now you can see that the buttons are positioned differently on our particular panel because we are using a different layout uh, manager all right so that's it now we can also say that no we want to place our components ourselves on our frame so instead of setting the layout manager to another layout manager we want to set it to null now if we set it to null come here now you can see how the buttons are being placed so we have to actually fix bounds the positioning in our set bounds here so for example for this one we will say um so x would be zero and then coordinate y would be 200 now if we run okay you can see the buttons placed on our panel so we can actually simply change these to we say what if we say 400 here 400 for coordinates y we say 300 300 now when we run uh only button one is showing so we say 250 250 300 300 okay so now you can see we are placing our buttons here button one button two button four three and four are placed on our panel you can uh, let me change the color of panel. We say red, for example. 
Okay, now you can see that the panel color has changed. I can, what if I want to set the bounds for my particular panel? So I can say panel that set bounds. So I'll say 100, zero, no 100, 100. So for the height, uh, for the width and the height, I will simply comment this and I'll say 400, 300. If I run, now we can see that the panel has changed its position, okay? I can increase this to 200 and this particular one to 50. Now you can see that the panel is placed at a different position, all right? So that's it. What I wanted to show you about Layout Manager, so you can apply it on a container, like a frame, like a panel, as I showed you in the various examples we took. And uh, you can set different layout managers because they are important in determining the position, the size, the alignment of your components. Uh, you can also decide to place the components on your container manually by setting the bounds, uh, determining the widths by yourself, and even the alignment if you want. So I hope this video was informative and uh, please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, to ask any question if you have, and subscribe to this channel to help us run this, uh, to continue producing videos like this one. And I hope I will meet you in the next video.